Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today we're gonna take a look at the 23 highest selling basketball cards from the Spring Sports Catalog Auction from Heritage that ended on May 11th of 2023. And we'll kick today's list off at number 23 with this 2003 Upper Deck Phenomenal Beginning LeBron James Autographed Rookie. This was a PSA 8 with a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $4,800. Serial numbered out of 23, this is the first ever comp I could find of this LeBron auto in a PSA 8, and matter of fact, only the second ever comp in general. The other comp was for a PSA 10 that sold for $17,323 back in April of 2020. Up next at number 22 is this 2018 Panini Contenders Luca Rookie Ticket Autograph, card number 122. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $4,800. There was so many different variations and parallels of this card, I put about as much effort into research for this card as Luca puts into playing defense. Coming in at number 21 is this 2007 Topps Chrome Dirk Nowitzki Super Fractor card number 41. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $4,920. This is the first ever sell of this rare one of one variation rookie that I could find. Uh, being from an era before Panini took over and every player seems to have 50 plus one of one rookies. Is it me or do you guys think this price is a little low for a Hall of Fame one of one rookie card? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1997 Skybox Premium Hakeem Olajuwon Star Rubies. This was an SGC 8.5 and it sold for $5,040. Serial numbered out of 50, this is the first ever sell of the Star Rubies Parallel I could find in an SGC slab, and this price actually sets the all-time record sell of this card in any grade by any grading company. The only other two prior comps I found of this card were both in a PSA 8.5, and the last one sold as an eBay Buy It Now for four grand back in April of 2021. Up next at number 19 is this 2013 Panini Prism Giannis Prism Rookie, card number 290. This was a BGS 9.5 and it also sold for $5,040. This price is down as the only three other BGS 9.5 comps I found from 2023 were all for over seven grand. The all-time record sell of this rookie Prism is still held by a Beckett Gold Label 10 that sold for $50,400 back in October of 2021. Coming in at number 18 is this 1980 Topps Autograph Scoring Leaders featuring Bird, Irving, and Johnson. This was a PSA 6 with a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $5,160. This price is down roughly $800 from the last PSA 6 with a 10 auto comp I found from earlier in May. Without an autograph, the last PSA 10 of this dual rookie sold for $522,000 at a golden auction back in August of 2022. Up next at number 17 is this 1986 Fleer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, card number one. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $5,280. This price is slightly down compared to 2023 PSA 10 comps overall, but is up from the last PSA 10 that sold for $4,276 at a memory lane auction only one week prior. This card is a pop of 96 in a PSA 10. Up 
Coming in at number 16 is this 2000 Upper Deck Legends Master Collection Michael Jordan Auto. This was a BGS Mint 9 with a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $5,520. Serial numbered out of 50, this is the first ever sell of this Jordan Auto I could find from any of the major grading companies. Up next at number 15 is this 2001 Upper Deck Buyback Autographed Michael Jordan, card number 178. This was a PSA 10 with a 9 grade for the auto, and it also sold for $5,520. Serial numbered out of 23, this was another card I was surprised to find no prior comps for as well. Coming in at number 14 is this 2007 Upper Deck NBA Finals Michael Jordan Auto. This was a BGS 9 with a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $5,760. This price is down from the last BGS 9 that was put up for auction back in October of 2021 and sold for just short of eight grand. The highest graded comp of this Jordan Auto I could find was a Beckett 9.5 that sold for $9,500 back in October of 2021. Up next at number 13 is this 2008 Upper Deck Black Michael Jordan Auto. This was a BGS 8 with a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $6,900. Serial numbered out of only 23, this price is down from the only other BGS 8 comp I found that sold for $10,500 back in March of 2022. There has been one higher graded copy of this Jordan Auto to hit the market, and it was a BGS 9 that sold for $10,100 on eBay back in August of 2020. Coming in at number 12 is this 2009 Topps Chrome Steph Curry Rookie Refractor, card number 101. This was a PSA 6 and it sold for $7,500. This price is right in line with the only other PSA 6 comp of this card I found from September of 2020. Serial numbered out of 500, the all-time record sell of this Rookie Refractor is still held by a BGS Gold Label 10 that sold for $210,000 back in May of 2022. Up next at number 11 is this 2019 Panini Impeccable Kobe Bryant Auto. This was a BGS 9 with a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $9,300. This was the Immortal Ink Hollow Silver Parallel that was serial numbered out of only five. And I was surprised to find two prior comps of this Kobe Auto, both in a BGS 9. This price does set the all time record sell of this car, beating out the last BGS 9 by roughly $400. And we get a classic vintage rookie card to kick off the top 10 with this 1961 Fleer Wilt Chamberlain Rookie, card number eight. This was a PSA 7, and it sold for $9,600. This price is down as the majority of PSA 7 comps I found from 2023 have averaged roughly 12 grand. While a PSA 9 still holds the all-time record sell of this card, the population reports are still showing a pop of three in a PSA 10 but a PSA 10 of this rookie is, still has not hit the market since May of 2008. Up next at number nine is this 2004 Upper Deck Ultimate Collections Michael Jordan. This was a BGS 9.5 with a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for just over 10 grand. This price is down as the only other BGS 9.5 comp of this card I could find sold on eBay for just short of 20 grand back in June of 2022. Serial numbered out of only 69, 
The all-time record sale of this card is still held by a black-labeled pristine Beckett 10 that sold for $96,000 back in March of 2022. Coming in at number 8 is this 1997 Hoops High Voltage Michael Jordan, card number 14. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $10,500. This price is up from the last PSA 10 that sold for $9,300 back in January, but down overall compared to 2022 prices. This rare Jordan insert is a pop of only 18 in a PSA 10. We're back to vintage at number 7 with this 1948 Bowman George Mikan rookie card number 69. This was a PSA 6 and it sold for $14,400. This is the first PSA 6 of this rookie to hit the market since June of 2022 and this price is up $1,800 from that previous comp. Despite multiple prior sales and a PSA 10, the all time record sale of this card is still held by a PSA 9 that sold for $800,000 on eBay back in March of 2022. The last PSA 10 comp of this rookie I could find sold for $403,000 at an SCP auction back in December of 2015. We're sticking to vintage at number six with this 1957 Topps Cliff Hagen rookie, card number 37. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $15,000 even. This is the new record sell of this card in any grade by any grading company. This rookie is a pop of only 3 in a PSA 9 for the 3 highest graded copies. The only prior PSA 9 comp of this rookie I could find previously sold for $5,510 at a memory lane auction all the way back in April of 2007. Kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1984 star Michael Jordan, card number 101. This was a BGS 8 and it sold for $17,400. This price is right in line with the last BGS 8 that was put up for auction back in March of this year. And since PSA started grading these star cards again, PSA continues to dominate the market as the last PSA 8 of this Jordan that was put up for auction sold for $52,800 at a heritage auction back in January. Up next at number 4 is this 1957 Topps Mel Hutchins rookie, card number 46. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $24,000 even. To no surprise, this is the new record sell of this card in any grade by any grading company and also the highest graded copy I was able to find as well. This rookie is a pop of only one in a PSA 9 with no copies graded higher. The two previous highest graded copies of this card I was able to find comps for was a PSA 8 and a SGC 7.5. Coming in at number 3 is this 2003 Fleer EX LeBron James Jambalaya Rookie, card number 1. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $34,800. This price is right in line with the last PSA 10 of this card that sold back in February, but is of course drastically down from the two prior PSA 10 comps from 2022. This rare LeBron Rookie insert is a pop of only 7 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 2 is this 1998 Upper Deck Choice StarQuest Gold Michael Jordan. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $93,000. Serial numbered out of 100, this is a unique sell as this Jordan is a pop of only one in a PSA 10. Someone was holding onto this card for a while as this exact PSA 10 previously sold on eBay 
for $4,573 back in February of 2018. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1986 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie, card number 57. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $156,000. This card continues to come back down as the eight prior 2023 comps for this Jordan have averaged closer to $182,000, which of course is even down from 2022 prices. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.